same perfect structure and characteristics as do the skulls of tigers living today. The next fossil is that of a scorpion discovered in the Santana Formation in the Araripe region of Brazil. Its age has been put at 110 million years. There is no difference between this fossil and modern-day specimens. Its pincers, body, feet and tail are all identical to scorpions alive today. The fossil you are looking at now is that of a shrimp discovered in the Sonhofen Eichstadt region of Germany and has been established to be 155 million years old. Again, it is clear that there is absolutely no difference between this fossil, its structure and all its organs and specimens living today. When we look at this fossil up close, we see that it is identical to modern-day shrimps in every detail. Its head, antennae, body shape, shell, legs, and tail structure all have come down unchanged to its descendants in the present day. I would now like to introduce you to a fossil of a juvenile turtle from Asia, having been discovered in China. It has been established to have lived in the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous periods. The age of this turtle is 120 million years. Yet there is not the slightest difference between this fossil turtle and specimens alive today. Its head structure, legs and shell encasing its body all clearly demonstrate that these reptiles have remained unchanged for millions of years. I am now holding the fossilized leaf of a plane tree. This was unearthed in Colorado and is around 50 million years old. This fossil, which has survived with all its details just as if it were a photograph, is just one of the important pieces of fossil evidence that show that many such plants have come down to the present day with their same perfect structures and have never undergone any structural changes. You can now see a fossil bat, a member of the flying mammal class. This fossil was discovered in the Frankfurt region of Germany. It has been established that it lived during the Eocene epoch, around 50 million years ago. When this fossil's bat's bone structure and anatomy are examined, we can clearly see how bats living millions of years ago were identical to those living today and how they have undergone no changes and no supposed process of evolution at all. I am now holding two separate fossils. One of them is a sunfish, the other is a herring of the type we saw earlier. Both lived at the same time. These fossils were, again, discovered in the Green River Formation in Wyoming and have been established as being 50 million years old. Another important feature of these two different fossils, of course, is that with all their perfect structures, they demonstrate that these species were identical to specimens alive today. 
There is no difference between these and living sunfish and herring. Their heads, eyes, gills, fins, bone structure, and tail are all identical to those of their present-day counterparts. I'm now holding a fossil from a somewhat younger geological stratum. This particular creature, known as the pipefish, lived around 23 million years ago and was discovered in Italy. This vertebrae dates back to the Miocene epoch, yet it has exactly the same characteristics as contemporary pipefish. It is still yet another fossil that shows that a living species has come down to the present day completely unaltered. One of the environments in which fossils have been preserved is amber. Living things such as insects and even small reptiles are sometimes trapped inside the resins and ooze from tree bark. Over time, these resins gradually harden and turn into transparent amber that preserves the organism inside it, virtually unchanged. Since these small creatures trapped in amber are immediately and totally cut off from contact with the surrounding atmosphere, their bodies survive in a near-perfect state of preservation over millions of years, right down to the present day. Creatures fossilized in amber show in the most dramatic ways that there exists no difference between living things that existed millions of years ago and were preserved in amber and their present-day counterparts. <laughs> 